Peanut butter jelly time. 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 Hello, my name is Michael Sanders, and just like my lovely host said, I am Michael Sanders with Making Sandwiches with Michael. Here to take you on a complex journey about the deluxe sandwich making abilities that I've had since I was born. I mean, ever since I was little, whenever I picked up a butter knife, whatever kind of knife you want to call this, I was a magician with it. And I will show you those skills over the next nine and a half minutes, added with a commercial of 30 seconds with color bars, black, fade to credits, all those types of things. I'm a production student. I should be better at saying those types of things. But anyways, away from the tangent. Now, there are five very key subjects, topics, things that go with making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. First, you have the peanut butter, the jelly, the bread, the chip option, because you need a side to go with the PB&J. If you don't have a side with the PB&J, you're not doing it right. Last but not least, you need a drink option. Yes, Kool-Aid Jammer, six for a dollar at Walmart. That's a plug, Walmart hit me up with a sponsorship. You can reach me at a number that I will give you after the show in the YouTube comments. There you go. Anyways, so now we are first going to talk about the right, correct choice of peanut butter. A lot of people like to go with crunchy peanut butter, and what I say to crunchy peanut butter is this. If I want a crunchy peanut butter, I would get a Snickers bar. Kobe. Anyways, so now the best option is Reese's. Reese's peanut butter is the best Reese's, no. Reese's peanut butter is the best peanut butter on the market. Wanna know why? Because it is. Now, whenever you're choosing your jelly, you wanna go with something that's squeezable. It's easier to put onto your bread. You don't have to put your uh, knife to the peanut butter and then wipe it off or lick it however you want and then have to go in and scoop the jelly out afterwards. In this case, whenever you have the jelly, you can put your peanut butter on one side, on both sides, however technique you like. I will show you the correct one in my professional, correct, factual opinion. And then you really want to go with Welch's. Uh, again, Welch's, you can hit me up in the comment section on YouTube. I would like a sponsorship for plugging your brand, as well as Reese's, as well as Kool-Aid, Doritos, Pepperidge Farm, and Walmart. I mean, I'm trying to make money. That's how it is. Anyway, so whenever you go to the bread, you don't want white bread because it gets stuck to the roof of your mouth. White bread is for ducks whenever you go to the pond. I'm being serious. I said ducks with a D. Don't take your mind out of the places. Anyways, so whenever you take the bread out, you want to make sure that you have washed your hands. I have done so very thoroughly three times in the bathroom about 20 minutes ago before I was on camera. So you take two pieces of bread like this, put one down, and a lot of times to give me enough room on my plate to be able to spread evenly, to spread the correct way, I will take a paper towel and I will put it on the table to keep it away from germs. And so in this case, you take the bread, and what I do first is I go for the peanut butter. You want to do peanut butter first because it gives you a foundation that's easier to spread your jelly. Trust me on this. So the best feeling ever is also, you can see this in the camera, whenever you open up a brand new carton, tub, cylinder, whatever object this is of peanut butter, it is the best kind of peanut butter the best feeling ever. Some would say it's very pleasuring to have oh, that one new scoop of peanut butter. It is so fantastic. So at this point, I'm spreading the peanut butter. You can see here, you wanna do nice, even strokes, stroke after stroke, backstroke like Michael Phelps. And here, when we come back, I will finish the peanut butter and move on to jelly. Hey, you don't look so good. What's the matter? My doctor said I'm dehydrated and I have to drink more water. The problem is I hate the taste of water and there's not enough time in the day to make sure I'm drinking eight full glasses. You know, I had that problem too until I tried the hydro capsule. Ever since taking it, I've had more energy, fewer headaches, clearer skin, and even less constipation. Sounds great, I'll give it a try. 
Hydro capsule really works. I feel great. It's peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. Wait, yeah, wait, yeah, wait, yeah, wait, yeah. Welcome back. I'm your host, Michael Sanders of Making Sandwiches with Michael. And before the break, we were spreading the peanut butter. And now, during the commercial break, I went ahead and finished it out right here. It is a perfect blend, a perfect makeup, a perfect just complexion of peanut butter. You don't see any edges of the bread. You see just brown, succulent, amazing Reese's peanut butter. So at this point, you want to go to, and a lot of times I'll do this instead of wiping off the peanut butter onto a napkin, I'll wipe it off into the bread so that you're not wasting any peanut butter. So you do that. Boom, bam, bap, there you go. And then at this point, you're gonna take the Welch's Natural Concord Grape Spread with no high fructose corn syrup. If you get anything else with fructose corn syrup, whatever that means, you're doing it wrong. So at this point, you wanna take your bottle and you want to do one small line at one edge and another one at the other edge. And then you don't want to put too much jelly because whenever you are putting jelly onto a PB&J, that first bite, if you put too much and jelly spills onto your lap, onto the table, onto your hands, it's a very sticky situation. Pun intended. Anyway, so now when you're at this point, you want to slowly, look at that. I'm a professional. I just let it slip off the bread. Y'all should fire me. Don't fire me because I need this job. Anyways, and so at this point, you're going to be slowly but surely. You don't want to crush your bread. You don't want to yeah, yeah, yeah. It's basically stab your bread like Michael Myers, a killer or whatever. You want to evenly spread it out. And sometimes when you're at the finished result of putting the jelly on your bread, you're like, huh, that's a little bit too much jelly. So you'll just scoop a little off. Voila. I'm, whew, that's sweet. Anyways, so at that point, again, instead of wiping it off on paper towel, wipe it off on the bread. It's called productivity, people. Efficiency. Look it up. Probably not the right term. So at this point, you slowly place the other piece of bread on top, and then you have a perfect, magnificent PB&J sandwich. So before I bite into this sucker and show you how fantastic it is, what did our moms always do for us whenever we were little. She didn't just make the PB&J, she put some love into it. And the way she put love into it was cutting it up into different shapes. And so now I'm going to take my unbranded knife and I'm going to cut it in one different shape. I can't cut it into a triangle because this is not really a perfectly squared shape of bread like some breads. So it wouldn't really be that great of a triangle. So I'm going to go with the old fashioned rectangle root. So now what you're going to do is be on one edge, and there you go. Look at that. Perfect. That is fantastic. Wow. I should be paid more for this, but I'm not. It's actually free. So now, when you look at this, when you have this bread, you want to make sure that it's even. If I, if I wanted to, I could take some jelly as glue, and I could go ahead and just tape this or paste this back together, and it'll look brand spanking new. That's why... You need to be very good with your knife. You should have some good knifing skills. So at this point, instead of biting into it, I'm going to tell you about the best thing to do. What else is better than grape flavored Kool-Aid jammers? Or this is a Kool-Aid burst, sorry, Kool-Aid jammers don't want the little straw. But these are fantastic. So I'm gonna show you how fantastic it is by chugging one on set. <clears throat> Delicious. <laughs> so, at this point, you got a bite into the Doritos. And a lot of people, they'll just go ahead and put the Doritos on the sandwich. You can go with whatever, but I'm not gonna do, going to do that right now. But I love Doritos. Fantastic. Five seconds left. Thank you for watching Making Sandwiches with Michael. Adios. It's peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. Wait, yeah, wait.